Hey everyone, my name is Arnav, and I'm a judge with the ICPC World Finals. I'm here to explain a problem outline for problem I, spider walk. So in this problem, you're given this spider web, which can be thought of as a series of strands emanating from some spider center. Uh, there's some favorite strand for our spider named Charlotte, and sh uh, she wants to know, for every possible starting strand, what's the minimum number of bridges she needs to add to end up at the specific strand? Uh, whenever, she, whenever a bridge is present in uh, the, the spider web, if she walks along that strand and encounters the bridge, she must take it. Uh, the bounds on this problem are pretty big. The number of uh, strands is up to 200,000, and the number of bridges is up to 500,000. So one way to start to approach this problem is to consider what happens if we just have strands and no bridges. If we remove the bridge, then we know if we start on this first strand, the answer is zero. If we're only one strand away, in either case, the answer is just one. We can add a bridge anywhere. And kind of continuing on in this radial pattern, we get continuing increasing answers. So the, idea, the, the core idea is you start at some strand and you can kind of sweep outwards and update all the answers. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Now, once you add a bridge, how does the answer change? Let's say we add this bridge here. Well, it's pretty clear that these two answers trade places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down uh, the answer starting from here going counterclockwise. So uh, before I add the bridge, the answers are three, two, one, zero, one, two, three. Now when I add this bridge, these two answers flip places. So this answer now becomes a zero, this answer now becomes a one. And now if I write the answers out, I get three, two, zero, one, one, two, three. However, now uh, we may be able to do better from certain strands. For example, uh, on the first, if we start off on this first strand, we, can, we only need to add two bridges, one, two, and then we can take the already existing bridge to get to our destination strand. So yet again, we have to simulate this process of sweeping outwards uh, from the zero. So by doing this again, um, we actually reduce the answers to two, one, zero, one, one, two, three. Uh, and I'll update them up here as well. So this becomes, this three goes down to a two, and this two goes down to a one. Excellent. Uh, so now we have a general algorithm for, to solve this problem. But the issue is, if we do a swap and then sweep along, uh, a sweep and update the answers all the way through, the overall time complexity of that is O of n times m, which is going to be too slow for this problem. Uh, so the way to speed it up is to uh, look at these numbers and observe that they form kind of discrete line segments. So instead of representing this whole thing as 2, 1, 0, we can store it as a single line segment, which uh, begins at 2 and has slope negative 1. Uh, at the beginning, we just have two such line segments. It descends down to zero, and then it increases upwards. Um, so in this case, I would, I would represent the line segments as the starting value and the slope, and then one, and then plus one. Um, and uh, with these line segments, we should be able to maintain the whole uh, state of the distance array. Uh, maintaining these line segments can be done in a, a standard set, and you have to be able to find them, find the value at a specific point, break the line segment into, swap the values, and then potentially merge uh, these line segments together when you, when you do the updates. There's one tricky case I want to mention, which is if, uh, let's, let's take this scenario, and you add one more uh, bridge further inside. Uh, then what happens? Again, these two values flip, so this two and this one. Uh, becomes a one and a two. Um, so our array all the way down here is now one, two, zero, one, one, two, three. I'll add the commas as well. Uh, the problem is uh, when we do our sweeps, we don't actually want to sweep from either of the new values. We need to also consider the neighbors. So in this case, uh, if we sweep from the one, this two stays the same. If we sweep from the two, the two still stays the same. But now if we sweep from the zero, this two is actually reduced to a one. 
So the answer in this case is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. This is a pretty tough problem, and uh, we hope the teams enjoy it. Good luck. For more from the ICPC World Finals DACA, follow us at news.icpc.global and on social media with our hashtag ICPCWFDACA.